Hello, it's Jennifer, and I'm here to share with you all the fun things that I made using the March 2021 Jesse James Beads Magical Mystery Bead Box. So here we have just a layout of the 14 projects I made, and I will go over each individual one. One of the first things I made was this here, and I used one of the flat square beads i used some chain from my own from my own um, stash as well as i used up these gorgeous cage beads and these little rhinestone um beads that are kind of like that sugary it's, it feels like sugar granules i don't know how else to explain it and then these um smaller boho-ish beads. And what I did was, all I did was take eye pins and then did a single, uh, simple loop on the other side. I didn't wire wrap. And then I connected them with a larger, I think this is six millimeter, with a six millimeter uh, jump ring. And then I have this chain here that I got it from somewhere, I'm not sure where. But this is one of the first pieces. And I just love all the silver. I love all the sparkle. It's not a very long um, necklace. It is probably around uh, 17 to 18 inches. Then I have here, um, I have a necklace that I made. It's a little bit longer and I used the Coriana chain. So I used the Coriana chain. Oh, you can hear my neighbor coming. Uh, so I used some Coriana chain and then also I just included some, I, I left it free floating so that it can just be free floating. I didn't strap it down to the, you know, uh, crimp it down to the bottom here. But I just used some simple seed uh, spacer beads and these, um, these other metal beads from the box. Everything's from the box, unless I say otherwise, like these, these little silver uh, beads are not from the box. Uh, the Coriana chain is not from the box, but these beads are, and these little crystal beads are from the box. Again, not the little um, silver seed beads. And then what else do I have? I have Rondell. And what I did was I wire wrapped these. I wire wrapped this one here. And then also I uh, connected it to this yummy rose bead. And what I did was I did I wire wrapped the top, but not the bottom. This is just um, this is just a, a simple loop, and then attached this other uh, bead teardrop bead from the box, and just use a simple loop. This one here is a little bit longer. I would say this one is probably a good 23 inches or so about. Then I was just dying to use these metal assortment beads. So these little, um, these little um, metal beads were part of the assortment where it was the rose color and then the silver and then the gold. And I'm, I use the gold in a different, uh, in a different necklace. And then what I did was I had these bugle beads from the bundle that included a necklace kit and some bright Toho beads, Toho seed beads. So I used that and some, uh, just some uh, spacer uh, seed beads. And then here again is that rose, that rose uh, bead that I just used I just used some um, some chain. I used some just beading wire. And I made this loop a little bit bigger because then I'm just connecting. I am just using the beading wire as the loop connector or the hook connector. And this one here is a little bit longer. It's probably maybe about 19 inches or so. So a little bit longer. Then this is a spin on this next necklace is a spin off of the necklace kit that Jesse Bead, uh, Jesse, Jesse James Beads has available with those Tohos that I was mentioning. And so I took one of the charms from the box and then here's one of the boho beads. And I just used a simple, the charm has a loop already, but then I just used a simple loop 
down here. So I just use an eye pin and then I wire wrapped it at the top. And then on the bottom here, I did the same thing where I just did as I used an eye pin and then wire looped it up at the top. And then this is a, some just ball chain that I had in my stash. And then I just connect it since it's so long, it goes over your head. I just connected it with one of a bead cap connector. So this one here is a little bit longer. It's a little bit longer than the Coriana chain one. So this one, um, geez, with you know the the um, charm stacking here is probably a couple of inches as well. And so this one here, I believe it's maybe 25 inches, maybe 26. Then I used up some. Oh, I had some silver silk. I had some flat mesh that I, uh, that was put in my remnants bag. So Silver Silk and More is just another, one of those uh, vendors that Jesse James Beads works with, as well as Softlex Company. I'll be mentioning Softlex Company as well. And um, so I wanted to be able to use some of this flat mesh. And so what I did was I used some flat mesh, connected it just with some crimp, uh, some, some uh, crimp ends, and then used a lobster clasp with a jump ring, a real strong jump ring. Then I have, so this was all for my stash hair. Then this textured ring um, that I have, that I connected the little um, beading bundle to, that was from my stash as well. And this is just a gold. And then these other beads are all from the bead box. I love these rose, it's rose gold, but they're rose, um, like a rose pattern, and it has a bead inside, so it's one of those cage beads. And I will tell you, just as a spoiler, the May 2021 has some silver ones in there, so I'm so excited. And then these beads here, I just use a simple loop on them, and uh, this one here is probably a good maybe 18 inches. I wanted something just to sit in the middle of the chest. So I really like that. Then here's another uh, chain necklace. This chain is also from my this this chain is also from my stash. And then what I used is I used the gold of the, that bead assortment and just beautiful beads and I used another boho bead and then tied it with some, uh, or connected it with some of the um, uh, silver large bike combs. And then I just used some beading wire and I did use some crimp covers because I didn't use the soft flex on this one because I didn't have the right gold color for the soft flex. So I just used some beading wire, beetle on beading wire. And then I had to use the, um, the crimp covers. And I'll show you, uh, I don't know if I used, I think I used some Softflex, the magical, the magical crimper where you use these special two by two tubes from Softflex company and they're incredible, sturdy, seamless, great. And when you crimp them using the magical crimper, which I have right here, when you use the magical crimper, when you crimp it for the, the, the first crimp, you, it ends up looking like a little square ravioli and then as you work yourself around the the crimp it actually becomes a bead and actually looks like a crimp cover that's why i had to look at this a little cl more closely to see if that's what it was this one here is another short one it is probably um maybe 17 16 17 18, 18 inches and then i have another silver with some gray and this again is from the bead box from magic the magical mystery bead box from jesse james beads as well and i have some of the rhinestones and some of the yummy beads that um, are included in the mixes that they have and this one here i use beading wire i did not use the jesse james i mean the soft flex company beading wire so i did use some I did use some wire guardians on this one. I don't know if I just didn't feel as comfortable with this with this uh, chain being able to connect and you know lose it. And I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and put some uh, wire guardians on there, and it looked really good. So I just went ahead and uh, did it that way for some added 
for some added um, security there. And then again, use some chain from my stash. But this is just a beautiful collection of beads and everything was from the Jesse James beads box. And again, this is a shorter one, probably around 16 to 18 inches. Now getting back into some gold. This here, I use the same gold chain that I did on uh, one of the other pieces. And then at the bottom, it's connected, it connects at the top with a, a lobster clasp. And then down at the bottom, instead of just dropping it directly from the, uh, from the um, chain itself, I went ahead and added a large gold loop there, or a gold um, ring, and then used those yummy rose cage beads. And then again, one of those teardrops. And I just used simple loops on these. I didn't do any wire wrapping. I just kept it simple. Again, another smaller, another smaller, shorter necklace so that it sits in the middle of your chest. And I love these colors. Oh my goodness, I love these colors and was so happy with this next one here. And I used some of the ball chain like I did in the other necklace. And this time I wanted to have a shorter necklace. So instead of using the ball chain to go over your head, I went ahead and included the lobster clasp instead. And what I did was I took the, I used some beading wire. I did not use, I did not use the wire guardian and, um, and I went ahead and uh, used the larger bicombs with this. I used the larger bicombs along with these coral colors, along with the, um, along with the charm. I know, spit it out, right? I did add these, these are rose gold, but they're kind of a really light gold. This was from my own stash. So I did use this from my stash. And how I connected this down here, how I connected it down here, for, I used ball tips. And so I didn't use a wire guardian because the ball tip isn't open. The, the loop isn't open, it's closed. And so I went ahead and used that. Now we're getting into my absolute favorite pieces. Favorite, favorite, favorite pieces. Here's the first one. The first one, I'm, let me turn it around so it's actually facing the way I want it to. Okay, so this here, this is some antique gold chain that is on the Jesse James Beads website. And I purchased this separately and I just needed some some large uh, rings and they're, fair, they're fairly light and they're just really pretty or it can be used as a chain. Uh, it connects with it connects with a smaller ring with the same texture, and it's just a yummy texture. And again, I used beads from the mystery bead box. I did not use a wire guardian on these because these are closed, and I just love this focal bead. This focal bead is beautiful. It's textured, has. Um, it has little tiny seed beads. It looks like it's seed beads. And then I use the spacers and the crystals and the pearls from the, from the strand that was included in the magical mystery bead box. Then what I did was I just did a, a simple knot and used some three millimeter suede. And so I used some suede and then at the top, I just use some, uh, crimp, um, some crimp, um, connectors and then also used some, a lobster clasp and a nice strong uh, jump ring to connect it to. So this is one of my absolute favorites. And out of these next three, I don't know which one's my favorite, but I am, I have been wanting to use the silver silk capture, capture chain and I've been wanting to use it so badly. And this color is Storm, and it just went super well with these beads that I'm using here. And this is from the Jesse James bead. This is all from the Jesse James um, mystery bead box, uh, with the exception of the wire and the capture chain and the goodies um, at the top to connect it all. 
And so this is a nice large crystal rondelle with these two yummy faceted crystals. And they're different, they're different because this one's more faceted than this one, but I love those two together. And this is, I believe this is the way they were on the strand. And then I have these two um, oval, or these two round beads that are, you know, thin. And then we have some of the uh, pearl looking beads, as well as some small, smaller rondelles. And then I connected it by using ball chain connector and then wire wrapping it. This is one of my absolute favorites. And if you have not used silver silk capture chain or any of the um, any of the chains that they have available, which is sold at jessejamesbeads.com as well. And then I used the single strand, the single strand findings. If you have not used this yet, my suggestion is if, if you're kind of weary about whether you want to use it or not, this is what I did. Silver, silk, and more, and I ordered a remnants bag. The remnants bag gives you a really wide variety of their products. So in my remnants bag, I did get some capture chain. I got some pearlesque chain because this is wire. It's wire knitted and then there's ball chain inside. And then I, uh, what else did I get? I got some hollow mesh, that flash mesh, that flat mesh that I already demonstrated. And I'm going to show you the hollow mesh later because it's probably one of, it is probably the favorite, my favorite that I, that I did this time. So here's another one. And this one here is fairly short because I want it to sit in the middle of my chest. Then we have another necklace, another shorter necklace again, using all everything from the mystery bead box. And I did have to add some seed beads here. So this whole area here is from the mystery bead box, including this beautiful charm. And I just used beading wire and I did use soft flex and it's connected to this capture chain using a ball, a ball chain connector. And then I hit it using the seed beads. Not anything I came up with on my own. This is something that Neele from Silver Silk uh, demonstrated. And so I was really happy that I was able to find that and be able to put that into action here. This chain is actually from one of my remnants bags. So I had enough, I had two pieces and was able to uh, put this together. I did not use the findings like I did in the other one, the single strand. I did use ball tips, ball, the ball tips. Here's why. I don't have any of the single strand in an antique bronze, so that is why, and I wanted it all to be the same type of color. I did not want to really mix match my metals up here at the top. Now, I like mixing my metals here. I have antique gold and I have the um, antique brass. And then I just used some, uh, some I used some seed, 11 o seed beads and wire wrapped it using a 26 gauge vintage bronze. And I have it right here still. I used some vintage bronze craft wire and wrapped it up. And the good thing about this uh, this capture chain as well is if you can see here, I when I did this, I just plugged one end of my wire because you can go all the way through. And then it grabs it and holds it in place. This is probably, this is one of my favorites. I love it, love it, love it. Then I will continue on with some silver silk. Again, these beads here came in the mystery bead box. However, these uh, barrels did not, I added that. Now, do you wanna know what these little beads are? You know the ends of your strands? Yes, I save them. I save them and use them later. And so that's what I did. Then I have, this is hollow mesh and I added my own beads um, in the middle and then brought it all together using this, uh, using the beading wire. And so I used the beading wire and the beading wire comes all the way through all of my beads. And then I just made some rings as the decor. Perfect, huh? So, and use some chain from my own stash. This, the chain and the lobster clasp did not come in the, um, in the, in the mystery bead box, but 
and I used some uh, crimp covers as well. Beautiful, beautiful, and I just cannot wait to wear that. This one here is my favorite. It is so sparkly and yummy. I used some um, I used some two millimeter leather, genuine leather cording. Connect then at the top. I used some crimper, some uh, crimp, um, some crimps, and then also lobster clasp. That's what I was trying to think. The lobster clasp and a nice thick jump ring to hold it all together. And so with the crimp, you just crimp in the middle of. I'll go ahead and show you what I did. Let me grab here. Because when you crimp these, you want to just crimp them right in the center. So you're crimping them in the center and you're not damaging anything on the um, on the round part. So if you look here, you can see where it's a little flattened in the center. Well, it was flush with, it was flush round here. And so all I do is I just, you know, crimp it and I just go back and forth and just go back and forth and give it a squeeze until I can't pull. So this is the leather, the two millimeter leather. Then again, here's more beads from the Magical Mystery Bead Box. And I love, love, love these shiny, um, you know, rondelish um, beads along with these, these crystal beads and this other bead here that I put in the center along with this. And then what I did was I did barrel knots Barrel knots are something that I learned from Kelly at Kelly's Bead Boutique. Took me forever to figure it out. And it's me, it's not how she teaches because she was teaching me just right. It was just me not getting it and not, you know, taking the time to really, um, the patience to spend with it, which it doesn't require a lot. It was just me, like I said. And so I just barrel knotted this so that it all stays, um, so it all stays intact down at the bottom here. And this one here is probably about 20 inches and I just absolutely love it. So when I actually have a video that's demonstrating how to do barrel knots, which I did, I have posted an, a bracelet that I'm using on, I believe it was 0.5 millimeter leather, which is a little more difficult than the larger, the larger, um, the larger, cording is easier to do the barrel knots in. So I never attempted to use on 0.5 until I knew that I could do this here. And so it did, it took me a while, but I figured it out, I got it. And again, Kelly with Kelly's Bead Boutique, which she is part of this great bead extravaganza that Softlex companies, Silver Silk and Jesse James Beads and all the other uh, people that demonstrate, they're all part of this, you know, I want to say sisterhood, but it's not because Neele, he, he owns um, Silver Silk, so it's not really a sisterhood, but it's just this, this beading community with this great bead extravaganza, which I only purchased from Kelly's Bead Boutique for the last year. And it wasn't until February when I was uh, watching her demonstrations with the great bead extravaganza that I saw so, uh, Softlex Company. And they're from Sonoma, which is California, which that's where I'm from. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to check them out. Well, I checked them out and they were talking about Jesse James Beads. So I watched Jesse James Beads. And then the next thing you know it, I'm watching Silver Silk and more. So it just kind of escalated. And I, you'll see from my videos that I am, uh, that I'm also going to be posting for with Kelly's Bee Boutique, my unboxing of my bead hauls that I am very much supportive of, of her and will always be supportive of her. And so I will give her credit for these barrel knots because she is the master of the barrel knot. And this here is my favorite. So here we have, here are all of our necklaces. That was So here are all of the necklaces in a big pile, all created with the March 2021 Magical Mystery Bead Box from Jesse James. Thank you.